Hello, this is Charlie Pollock. I'm presenting a game that I've been working on. I call it Discombobulated. And in it, you control this tank over here. As you can see, you can uh, aim the turret with the mouse and fire by holding on. You can control the tank itself with the keyboard. Uh, over here, you can see its health bar and its power bar, which I will elaborate on later. Around the tank, you can see some walls and door, both of which uh, instantly stop you if you try ramming into it, like any wall should do. Uh, the wall is actually automatically uh, tiled, which means that uh, when it's created, it uh, figures out which tile out of uh, 14 it should be assigned and uh, takes it. Like you can see over here, there's a little corner where it should be, and uh, over here, there's uh, two lines on this one block. The door can be uh, opened by shooting it. And it closes behind you. Isn't technology amazing? Uh, moving on, we can see that certain events can be triggered simply by moving into certain areas. Some events are just like this text over here. Uh, text uh, is automatically made to fit into the box by adding certain breaks where it can. That was surprisingly hard to program. So as we go into the next room, we can see the first enemy in the game that I've made. It's the Gerbo. It's uh, the most standard enemy. Basically just moves towards you using basic pathfinding, as you can see over here. And when it can, tries firing at you. They can be easily dispatched simply by shooting them a bunch. Uh, the enemies sometimes drop these orbs, which respectively fill the health bar and the power bar. Uh, over here we can see that there are three gerbos waiting for us in the next room. Uh, using these gerbos, I will demonstrate another technique that I have implemented, and implemented into the game. When you hold on to the shift button, it can have an, a second alternate fire. So if I open the door, I'll demonstrate it right now can have a multi-blast, which is just as powerful as a normal blast, but there are many more. It takes power, so you'll have to refill your power with the uh, orange orbs. Moving on, you can see this Gerbo over here. As soon as I open this door, he'll start to make his way towards me. You can shoot him just the same. Here you can see that a roller has appeared. Uh, unlike the Gerbos, he doesn't immediately walk towards you, just moves around aimlessly. His stick is that once he sees you, he'll start running towards you. There we go. His main method of attack is trying to charge right into you. The thing is that his mask is invulnerable to all your attacks, so you'll have to attack him in the back after he's charged. He takes a lot more hits than the Gerbo. Uh, you can see that the, uh, I can activate certain portals over here, which uh, spawn enemies that I have uh, instructed it to. So I can take these enemies out. Ah, I've accidentally released these Gerbos. Not to worry though, I also have another method, another weapon, which is the missile. If I hold on right click, I can aim and blow them up with the missile. And even take out the roller, it deals much more damage than all of my blasts. Over here I've uh, put placed crates. They usually have items inside them that you can use to refill your meter. Alright, over here we can just see uh, another door. But the thing about it is that if you go through it, it will lock and face put you against this enemy, the Crabbot. Uh, the thing about him is that he, you normally can't attack him at all. That is until he opens one of his claws, which you can attack. But you've got to destroy it quick before he tries to take a shot at you. Oh. Once uh, the crabbot has no more claws, he'll be uh, forced to open his own shell, making him vulnerable, but making him able to blast a huge laser at you. As soon as he's defeated, the door is unlocked, leading us to the next enemy, the blockhead. 
Once you're in his range, he'll start taking a look at you until he finally fires his laser. He's stationary, so you don't have to worry too much about aiming. Uh, next up, we'll just show you a little wave thing that I can do, where it's just a bunch of enemies spawning from different portals. And over here, you can see the Iborg. He's uh, just a standard enemy, which uh, only fires lasers once you get close to him. But the thing about him is that unlike these enemies, he can fly over walls and doors. He takes a few hits to get rid of. Anyways, moving on, we can ignore these crap bots, but we can't ignore the next room, which is another trapped one. It has a lot more enemies, including the new Bort ones, the pink rabbits. They usually just try and get up close and punch you, like, kind of like the Iborgs. And we can use uh, as many missiles as we want because they're kind of a lot of enemies. Oh, and over here you can see the Kevoms who can sometimes pop out of the boards upon defeating them. Take a look. Ah, okay, over here we've got a swarm of zippers, just annoying fly-like enemies. They're weak, but usually come in swarms. Oh, okay, let me... Alright, I don't have that much health left, and those crates do look pretty helpful, but I can't use them until I'm finally done with all the enemies in this room. Which includes the enemies that are spawned by the board. Okay, so the rollers take a few more hits, and beam bada boom. Alright, we can open this door, release this board, and defeat the enemies that he spawned. Ouch. And but we can get some of the goodies in the crates. Hmm, not too shabby. So uh, next room, it uh, doesn't have too many new enemies, but if you look carefully, you can see little cracks uh, on the floor. If you get too close to them, a kabomb pops out and will start following after you. Kabomb takes a lot of hits normally. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, I've uh, accidentally uh, released the zipper queens. Uh, these things are ki act kind of like zippers, except that they have the ability to spawn more zippers, and once they get close to you, they'll try and circle around you instead of just moving towards you. They're kind of hard to hit, but don't take too much da damage before, well, getting destroyed. Well, over here you can see more of the cracks that spawn the kabombs, more blockheads. Ouch, 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 okay. Well, that's almost all of them. Let's see if I can get out. Oh crap, okay. Okay. Well, so, oh crap, oh, okay, well, there we go. As you can see, I haven't really uh, finished the level. But this let me, lets me show you a little tool that I have de developed for this uh, game. It's the debug mode, where I'm free to uh, spawn certain objects that I have programmed in, like the Gerbo, the Roller, the Crabbot, a whole bunch of them. Uh, I can even uh, let you show you another enemy that I haven't implemented yet, which is the uh, Rizzle. He's just a big old tank who follows you around, takes a lot of hits and shoots three lasers at a time, but he doesn't directly aim at you. If you look carefully, you can see that his head rotates and just shoots from time to time. So uh, yeah, that's uh, the game so far. It seems as though I don't have any health left. So, oh well. Uh, anyhow, so yeah, that's all I put in. Thanks for watching, I guess.